Now, first of all, do I, I have great respect for Carson Wentz as an NFL quarterback. I really do. You know, I was out in Fargo, North Dakota for his pro day, um, you know, and I talked with Doug Peterson after that workout, and I said, get this guy. You know, I mean, he, he had that good a, 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 of a workout. And standing next to that workout was, was Hugh Jackson, who became the head, was the head coach of Cleveland Browns at the time. And he says to me, one of the best pro days I've ever seen. And I said, I agree with this guy. This guy is something special. All the physical attributes that you want to see in an NFL quarterback. And, and I made this on my report uh, 10 minutes later, walking off the field at, at the Dome in Fargo. I did my live at the ESPN. And I said, this guy changes the weather. And people are like, what the hell's John's talking about? You know, <laughs> this guy, you know, but that's what came to my mind because when he walked in, at, it's, it's pro day. So it's, Linemen working out in the morning, running backs a little bit later, wide receivers. And, you know, Carson came out. I was like, whoa, Carson's here. Everybody got excited. The whole ambiance in the dome changed. This guy said, that's it. He could change the weather. It completely changed the feeling in that building. So I felt this guy was incredibly well-respected. Now, it wasn't only his North Dakota State teammates. It was a pro day for a lot of other, other players. But you could tell they all stuck around to watch him go through his workout. So I felt very confident uh, when the Eagles drafted him. They were getting a quarterback for the long term. Now, hey, he had, you know, he, he had a hell of a run. We, we know that. Last year was a down year. I can't make any excuse. I look at the tape. Uh, every single game, I've watched every single pass Carson Wentz, Wentz has thrown. Um, and he did not have a good year. But again, there are some mitigating circumstances. Offensive line was a mess. Um, wide receivers, interchangeable. Uh, it just wasn't a good year for the Eagles, particularly on the offensive side of the football. The quarterback, as I said, is going to get too much credit, too much blame. But Carson did not play well. Um, I don't know where this is going. And I, I'll say uh, the only part of this whole scenario up until this point is Carson hasn't said anything. And, and I think as a as a former player and as a fan, I think he owes it to us. To, to where are you, Carson? Don't let your agent dictate everything. Uh, I think sometimes you just got to be a man and stand up. You know, whatever your feelings are. I love Philadelphia. I don't like Philadelphia. I love Doug Peterson. I don't like Nick. I yeah. I I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making that up. I don't know what he's going to say, but I think. That, that's what I mean. You've got to look down the gun barrel sometimes and, 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 and make a hard decision of how you're going to approach it. And I'm sure his people, agents and people, you got to say, you know, hey, uh, just lay low. We'll handle this. You know, we'll, we'll take care of it for you. I, this is my personal belief. I think before he left town, when the season ended uh, with that loss to Washington, that he should have next day gone up and said how he feels. That, that, that's just my personal opinion and be on record with it.